afternoon again guys um, so today what I'm going to be doing I'm going to take this uh, TRD back box off and I will be putting this up for sale um, as you can see it's TRD developments let's turn that around TRD developments there and it's also got the TRD badge there as well um, obviously these bolts will probably undo there you go these bolts will well I say they'll probably undo yeah they should do but these ones are uh, on another planet so they should be fine um, what I will do is I'll just cut that side off as well that's just come around loose on there as well I don't know why but we'll sort that when we get it off uh, I'm going to take that off and then I'm also going to take all this downpipe off as well so this downpipe will also be up for sale and I will be taking off that um, cap pipe as well, the original downpipe um, as it's quite restrictive and then I'll be putting on my stainless decat on at some point hoping we can get that all done today I've got all my little box of tricks and stuff so that will hopefully all sort of gradually come together what I'm confused about is my suspension was knocking on this car like mad and I always thought it was the shocks and springs however they both look in good condition so I'm guessing it could be front top mounts um, possibly um, well, like I say we'll see when we get them off oh, damn it I forgot to buy some hammerite paint I was going to buy some hammerite and paint the calipers but I forgot to get it on the way here um, so now will be tomorrow's job so I'll be painting the calipers tomorrow these are my discs all fitted on um, they've still got loads of meat left so that's handy as well um, I'm going to be fitting a thicker anti-roll bar on as I've got one over here as you can see this anti-roll bar is much thicker than the other one so I will be fitting that at some point not sure if it will be today or not as I'm quite limited for time unfortunately after doing parcels and everything um, yeah so pretty much got a nice long list to do let's get this MR2 started and here we get on guys. Put my nice latex gloves on. I hate getting really dirty hands, it annoys me. Especially when you're jumping in your cars and you get all over your seat belts and everything. I do these do make my hands sweat, so I like my hands. Nothing's ever good for me. Right, let's see how we get on with these or the twelves to see if they just spin or So good. That never happens. Right, so these ones are definitely going to have to cut because they're crap. So bear with me while I put this. I'll cut the grinder. Another godsend, but I bet you better be flat. Yep. See anything? Charge your batteries. But you, all of my batteries are dying. Yep. Yep. That's annoying. So all of my batteries are dying. So that's delayed that job for a minute. For about 20 minutes anyway. Meanwhile, I'll undo another bolt. Put that in there. For my grinder, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start taking the rear shocks off and I'm ready to put my rear coil over them. So I'm just going to load the ramp and start moving on. Come on. 
look at my camera stick comes in. Say hello to my camera stick, bro. No, go on, say hello to it. Don't know what it is, do you? Say hello to the camera. No, I don't think you do. Come on, Stephen. Say hello. Morning guys, how are we all doing? Uh, today I've just quickly gone to the motor shop um, so obviously for more uh, MR2 stuff I've had to get some electrical cleaner because the plug which goes to the uh, speed sensor on the gearbox um, is covered where the water's leaked into it because someone hasn't put the plug uh, wires back in and obviously the rubber little grommets to stop water going in someone hasn't put them back in so I need to clean up the contacts so I'm hoping that will help um, what else have we got? Got a new wire brush as I couldn't find my one yesterday. And we have some black hammerite smooth for the uh, calipers. And we also have some gum gum for the exhaust. Very nice and lovely brush. And some protective glasses as I couldn't find mine the other day. So that's all that. So I'm going to do my parcels and bits and bobs, got someone collecting a couple of items today and then I'm going to crack on and start painting some calipers up and hopefully start with an exhaust but I'm not sure if I, I might be missing one gasket but I've still got to get the actual downpipe off, I said downpipe yesterday when I was meant to say front pipe on the other pipe, um, so that's noted. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a bit. Well what are we doing today guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to obviously smooth sort of all these down only quickly with a wire brush because I'm really not that bothered about how they look um, closely because it's just tidy them up a bit because they're going to look a little bit better than just being rusty so got a little paintbrush, got some hammerite I'm going to quickly just brush them down and then get rid of all the dust and everything else uh, so that's my job at the minute today I'm going to paint them while it's sort of quite dry um, first things first I'm going to need some our cafe coffee, whatever that is, but I need some coffee. So that is my first thing to do. Uh, what are we doing after that? Um, got some electrical cleaner as well, as I said in the video earlier. Um, what it is, I'll try and show you guys two seconds. You can see that plug. I don't know if you can see that, but what they've done whoever's pulled it before all the grommets and everything will come out so there's you can see all the shit coming out now to be honest with you so that is going to be repaired because that's probably why my speedo doesn't work which is annoying uh, i'm going to try and progress and take this down pipe off we've got some bolts up there which are a pain in the ass to get to some up there which are also a pain in the ass to get to and obviously some at the top and that's going to come off I'll find where this oil leak comes from as well, and I probably will do once I get that downpipe off. Uh, so you can see the cat's still good in there, but I am going to save that just in case I ever decide to turn this car back to standard or whatever. So I'm going to keep that as well. Uh, anti roll bar, front anti roll bar, I'll start doing that today as well because I'm going to fit it the new anti roll bar. So obviously, when I do the coilovers, I'm going to fit the new drop links as well. Right, let's crack on, guys. Let's make my coffee first. That's the main thing. I was nearly boiled. Find myself in the light. What's that, Bose? Just chilling. That's got a hard life. Yeah, I need coffee. Does. Oh yeah. Let's 
a JS coffee. Oh man, I could have used my JS mug. What's a mug? Oh well, here's my JS coffee. Just £2.99 to get you a lovely coffee like that. Seen the coffee and I've seen it. That's one caliper quickly done. This is not the best job, I'm not that fussed on doing a, a spectacular job. Um, and you've seen the rest of the paint car of the car, so brake calipers are the least of my problems. Actually, there's another good run somewhere on the back bumper as well. Look at that. Uh, camera's not quite picking it up, but yeah, it's crap basically. So that's the least of my problems. So, on that brake caliper, on the front one, just waiting to sort of dry. Looks much better than a rusty one anyway. So just gonna do the other side. And then crack on with some more drop after. No fingerprints all over the lens. There we go. Right. All the calipers are all painted. My excellent blind painting job. No worse than the rest of the car, to be fair. I'm about to go around the other side, so yeah, you get the idea. Now they're much tidier once I've got my wheels on. So next is starting down quite fast. Um, get the really annoying bolts off. Let's uh, see what we've got. Stupid little turns at a time, which is really annoying. Come on, man. Alright oh, guys, just getting the down pipe off. Um, got these bolts here, got them there, and I've got one all the way down there, which is a pig to get to. Um, and then we've got one over there somewhere. There it is. Hopefully that'll come off. Why is it always the last bolt? Every time you do something, the last bolt is always the one which is a problem. And if I ran this, my life's over and I give up with the whole car because I can't even see this bolt. I won't be able to get a hammer to it if I round it. Pressure is on. Don't tell me that's all of a sudden. Oh, I must have cracked it a minute ago. Oh, that's like the best feeling ever. I didn't think I cracked it, but I did. Yes, baby. You legend. Oh. You don't know how happy I am. Woo! Yeah! That's a good noise to hear. Oh, strain too hard. That is a definitely pushing too much moment. Whew. 
Down pipe. Off. Ting! Yes. Right. is from the <coughs> Rev 1, Rev 2, so the bolt holes are slightly different I believe, I think there's like one extra one which is like there, so one of them won't be used but it works fine on the Rev 1, Rev 2, so it should be, should be okay. Um, I'm going to mount that up dry without a gasket. The only thing with these down pipes is they always crack in here and all around here and everywhere else so I'm hoping that won't be the case so went to dry fit the downpipe just to see what it fits like um, yeah we've got a little bit of a problem nothing major um, basically because this is a Rev 1 Rev 2 downpipe that little stud there has no hole made on this downpipe for it so Unless I take that out, which I've tried and it doesn't feel like it's going to budge and I'm not going to snap it and cause myself loads of out just for the sake of getting another down for it. Uh, so after all that I managed to bodge it, so I'm just going to stick with that down pipe for now. Um, looking at the exhaust, it's about the same thickness anyway, so I don't need to go bigger. Um, what I've done was use one of these, lovely. Some of these, so I've finally bought, and then voila. As you can see, just trimmed a slight little bit out, so that's all it needed. The same with the gasket, and uh, that's all fitted on. Um, I haven't fully bolted it up yet um, because I've got to get the where the oil cooler is, I've got to get that seal done on there, so I might have to remove that to get the access. I probably won't, but I don't want to go and put all the bolts on, tighten it up, and then I've got to undo it all again because um, it's quite. Bit need to get it on there um, with that bolt in place or that stud in place, we say. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is just keep them like that. Um, I'm going to get that oil cooler seal. Unfortunately, now it's Friday, so I'm not going to get that probably till midweek, which is really annoying. So, I want to crack on and do other stuff, but gives me a chance to crack on and do other stuff. But uh, it gives me a chance to do all my suspension mainly roll bar and everything else so there is loads of other jobs to do also my intake side of things as well um, I've got cut this hole bigger as you can see so what's going to happen now is my filter will sit in there like that once I've cleaned it up properly and then that will be some sort of induction shield type thing um, give it a go anyway and then fit that obviously over there somewhere and hopefully uh, the cold air feed will fit in there nicely as well and then we can get as much cold air to the effort as we can. Um, then at Cordle Wire still not done that because obviously getting the downpipe and everything on. Um, I've still got to do this coolant hose as well so that's one thing I can do while I'm waiting. Uh, loads of little bits and bobs. So I've got to do the thermostat as well which is still in there. Uh, all the calipers are now done so yeah get, get in there guys get in there. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get that paint off that strut brace as well. I might be able to get it off with some solvents or something, but it's got on there quite thick, so we'll give that a go. And, but I'm going to end this video here, guys. I know it weren't a lot done today, but thank you so much for watching once again, guys. Those are sweeps, so I won't disturb him. Um, if you could please like, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Thank you so much for your support so far, guys. And I'm so grateful, I really am. I, I wouldn't be here today, and I, I love filming and all this sort of stuff. Um, once upon a time I needed all these little videos to help me out and I'm glued to YouTube now myself so thank you so much guys for watching and uh, we'll see you all soon, ciao